these films could look very different. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 alternate cuts of movies that may exist. For this list, we're looking at the rumored alternative versions of films that are currently unreleased but supposedly exist somewhere. My gosh, old times certainly are old starting off. times, again. not a bit. There aren't any old times, but times are gone. They're not old, they're dead. There aren't any times, but new times. Number 10. Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker The Star Wars sequel trilogy has proven quite divisive. Long have I waited. And now... You're coming together. Although which film is the most argued over is still a matter of debate itself, there's no denying that the finale, The Rise of Skywalker, has the most people talking at the moment. Part of that is due to a supposed three-hour cut of the film that contains material excised from the final product by the studio. That's how we're gonna win. Not fighting what we hate. Saving what we love. Some of these removed scenes reportedly included subplots for supporting characters and more detailed explanations of things that appeared ambiguous, like Han Solo's appearance to Kylo Ren and the appearance of Jedi Force ghosts in the final battle. That's what Snoke wants you to believe. But it's not true. Whether this cut, nicknamed the JJ Cut for director JJ Abrams, will ever surface, only time will tell. Number 9. Superman Returns one of the oddest superhero films out there, Superman Returns acts as a pseudo-sequel to the old Richard Donner Superman movies, but with Brian Singer at the helm. You wrote that the world doesn't need a savior, but every day I hear people crying for one. But like Donner before him, Singer's vision for The Man of Steel wasn't entirely translated to screen. Great Caesar's ghost. The original cut featured several subplots, such as Clark Kent struggling with whether he wanted to be Superman anymore, and also one that would have delved more into Lex Luthor's plans and motivations. You can print money, manufacture diamonds, and people are a dime a dozen, but they'll always need land. It's the one thing they're not making anymore of. In addition, an extended opening that showed Superman's return to Krypton was shot and nearly finished. Although it may not exist, fans have long clamored for an extended or director's cut of the movie. Number 8. Accidental Love Originally begun as an adaptation of the novel Sammy's Hill, director David O. Russell ran into numerous production difficulties on this movie. That's your crazy brain turning on itself, Alice. You can't fix a crazy brain with crazy thinking. That's broken talking to broken. Numerous production delays, financial difficulties, actors quitting, and more hounded production, to the point where Russell eventually disowned the project after being asked to return for reshoots while several producers had their pay cut. Rakesha expects me to lead. You see the other little wolves? They're hurting the injured. Who's leading? Me. I cry for you. I cry. For you. The assembled version released in theaters was widely derided as an unfunny romantic comedy, but we have to wonder if a cut assembled by Russell, when it was known under the name Nailed, might have been better, and more in line with its source material. Well, I came here to find my core, and I'm only two-thirds of the way there. I have no idea what that means, but can that happen like in the next half hour? Number 7. Alien 3 Director David Fincher's filmography is loaded with hits, but his debut feature film is not one that gets mentioned very often when his work is discussed. Like many films on our list, Alien 3 was subjected to a lot of studio interference, which prevented Fincher's vision from being realized on screen. This is rumor control, here are the facts. Although an extended assembly cut of the movie has been released, showing some deleted footage, Fincher was not involved in said assembly. Get down to the beach, there may be others. No! Given that Fincher was brought in to direct last minute, it's possible that his idea of what Alien 3 should look like wouldn't be any better than what we already have, but it would be nice to know for sure, especially considering that he basically disowned the movie in a 2009 article with The Guardian. Ripley. Number 6. American History X 
The conflicts between producers and directors that we've spoken of thus far are positively tame compared to the one between director Tony Kay and New Line Cinema. There was a moment when I used to blame everything and everyone for all the pain and suffering and vile things that happened to me. Although Kay delivered multiple cuts of the movie to the production company, they were not satisfied. The arguments between the two allegedly grew so acrimonious that Kay took out newspaper advertisements to communicate with the company. Sorry, dear. Sorry that happened to you. Eventually, the cut of the film that was released in theaters was assembled by New Line with film editor Jerry Greenberg and lead actor Edward Norton. Although this version has been well received and the original footage is rumored to have been destroyed, we have to wonder if some part of Kay's vision survived somewhere. You think I haven't thought about that? They're gonna come for me, they're gonna come for me, there ain't nothing I can do. Number 5. Batman Forever Joel Schumacher is famous, or infamous, for bringing a campier tone to the Batman films he directed in the 1990s. But his first film about the Dark Knight was originally intended to be a little darker and less over the top. Joy -gasm! <laughs> well, slightly less. The theatrical cut of Batman Forever left around 40 minutes of material on the cutting room floor. Among the excised scenes included more focus on the film's female characters, as well as an involved subplot about Batman dealing with his guilt over his parents' deaths. That certainly sounds like it would have given several characters more interesting arcs. I'm flattered. Not every girl makes a superhero's night table. Although demand isn't exactly high, a director's cut is something diehard fans would like to see. Number 4. Dune Based on the epic sci-fi novel of the same name, Dune already has a complex mythology in place. But adding surrealist director David Lynch into the mix is a recipe for confusion, particularly when the studio didn't give him say on the final cut. A beginning is a very delicate time. Know then that it is the year 10,191. The known universe is ruled by the Padishah Emperor Shaddam IV. Already divisive among fans of the source material, the heavily cut down theatrical cut was rendered nearly incomprehensible to critics and audiences, since it was shortened by almost an hour from Lynch's first version. May the hand of God be with you. May the hand of God be with us all, Duncan. Although Lynch has since distanced himself from the movie, Many are interested to know if his three-hour director's cut would flow any better than the one that bombed in theaters. The spice must flow. Number 3. The Magnificent Ambersons Orson Welles is, today, regarded as one of the best directors of all time, but his reputation was not enough during his own time to save this film from studio interference. The only public conveyance was the streetcar. Yeah! A lady could whistle to it from an upstairs window, and the car would halt at once and wait for her. After test audiences responded negatively towards Wells's more bleak version of The Magnificent Ambersons, RKO Pictures cut out over 40 minutes of footage, while Wells was out of the country shooting another movie. I think men's minds are going to be changed in subtle ways because of automobiles. And it may be the George is right. Although the theatrical cut is still highly regarded, film buffs still yearn to see Wells's version for themselves. And while the footage is thought to be forever lost, rumors persist that it survives somewhere. Try and understand. It's not doing either of us any good going on arguing this way. Number 2. Fantastic Four Plenty of people have criticized director Josh Trank's Fantastic Four, but few people are as angry about the final product as Trank himself. I'm no good to you, to anyone. This is all my fault. That we can agree on. <laughs> The director has been vocally critical of the theatrical cut of the superhero film, with actor Tony Kebble concurring that Trank's version was superior. If the original script is anything to go by, it likely would have featured actual character development and more faithfulness to the source material. We should use these powers to do something. They're not powers. They're aggressively abnormal physical conditions that okay. we're going to fix. Can you right. turn that off? And what if they can't? Low bars, yes, but Fantastic Four fans are still eager to see if Trank's cut could clobber the existing version as he claims. Hey! Clobber in town. Hey. Come here! What'd you think? You think you could talk to me like that? Huh? You think you could talk to me like that? What huh? the hell I'd have beat the matter with you? Huh? Huh? Ah. Ma! Just that was you can't do nothing. Huh? Ma, I you swear to God. Can't do this. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. 
Justice League. Yeah, you all saw this one coming. Still, for those taken by surprise and not in the know, director Zack Snyder was forced to step away from Justice League after a personal tragedy. You're an inspiration, Diana. You don't just save people. You make them see their better selves. In order to reportedly keep their bonuses, or we mean keep the movie on track, Warner Brothers brought on Joss Whedon during post-production. Just like a bat. I dig it. Whedon ended up writing and directing some new scenes for reshoots, and his involvement resulted in some tonal dissonance in the final film, with scenes, characters, and even color palettes cut from the new version. Fans have been basically demanding the Snyder Cut since Whedon took over, and rumors have been circulating ever since, with Snyder and cast members lending credence to them. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. Whether it will ever be released, though, and if it exists at all, we'll have to wait and see. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.